One schoolboy from Ullapool has joined children from across the world to put pressure on politicians to take action. Finlay Pringle is representing Scotland as campaigners from 20 nations gather in Strasbourg. Stephen Brown reports. Walking the corridors of power in Strasbourg is a bit of a change from a classroom in Ullapool for Finlay Pringle. But the 11-year-old is one of around 60 young campaigners who've gathered in the French city to lobby politicians to take action on climate change. Well, we're hoping for um, the politicians, the MEPs, to listen to us. We want some action now. We don't want, oh, well, we'll do it th this time or this time. We want it done now. He's made the thousand-mile trip ahead of MEPs debating climate change this week. Finlay has been part of the Fridays for Future campaign led by Swedish activist Greta Thunberg. It's seen school children skip school to protest over what they believe is a lack of action taken to limit global warming. I guess I just strongly believe in what I believe in. I want this world to be around when I grow up. Last month, mainly school-aged campaigners gathered outside the Scottish Parliament and across Scotland as the pressure ramped up on politicians. And in October, the impacts of climate change were laid bare in a report by experts. It stated that we have only 12 years to keep global temperatures below one and a half degrees or face the increased risks of droughts, floods and extreme heat. Climate change is already affecting people, ecosystems and livelihoods all around the world. Second, limiting warming to 1.5 degrees is not impossible, but will require unprecedented transitions in all aspects of society. But some have argued the school protesters shouldn't be skipping school regardless of their cause. What's the point of planning for a future or learning for a future if there isn't going to be a future? As well as what's the point of being highly educated when highly educated people aren't being listened to? Finlay's determined his trip will not be in vain as he tries to persuade both politicians and the public now is the time to take action. Stephen Brown, STV News.